One of the SSP programs we are involved with here at Fossil Room is for Maine wolves. They are currently a near threatened species with 17,000 left in the wild, and they are the largest canid in South America. A large population of them can be found in Brazil's Cerrado, which is mostly grasslands and scrub forests, which is declining at a rate similar to that of the Amazon. We currently have four, so three of which are siblings. They were born in 2018 here. And that's two girls, Jesse Jordan, and one boy, Francisco. And then we also have an older female named Marley. So these guys aren't actually wolves. Uh, True Wolf is in the genus Canis, and these guys are in their own genus, Chrysocyon, and they're the only species in that genus. They're really cool species. Um, they're unique just to look at. They have those super long legs and the really big ears. And they are called the main wolf because they have really long, shaggy hair on the back of their neck that if they're worked up or in a scary situation, starts to stand up and it kind of looks like a mane. They're very shy, timid species. They're also very curious. So if we're in the yard working on a fence or a pool, They'll kind of peer around some trees and they'll get as close as they can, just trying to see what's up uh, while keeping their distance. We take care of them in the carnivore department. These guys are actually omnivores, so they eat small rodents, armadillos, even insects, but upwards of 50% of their diet is actually fruits and vegetables. They also differ a lot from the other wolves that we have here because they're not pack animals, they're solitary animals. So whereas you might see the Mexican gray wolf pups playing together and all of them sitting at a tree together, these guys kind of keep their distance. Even though they're not as endangered as the American red wolves, um, it is still important to partake in conservation efforts for them now so that they don't become more threatened in the future.